Today, we're gonna to be deep diving into US payroll taxes. And after helping hundreds of businesses with their accounting and taxes, we know a thing or two about the subject. It doesn't matter if you have one employee, 10 employees, 50 employees, or haven't even started your business yet, you're going to wanna to watch this video in its entirety. My promise to you is that any question you have about payroll taxes will be answered and the high level details you need to know about payroll taxes will be shared. Note that for guidance or advice specific to your business, you should consult with a tax or a legal professional. But before we get started, go ahead and like this video right now to let me know you're pumped. And as a bonus, it helps others find our channel on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to see more videos that will help you save on taxes. Let's get started. First, at a high level, you need to know that there are three categories of payroll taxes. Taxes that the employees pay, taxes that the employer pays, and taxes both employee and employer pay. Payroll taxes that only employees pay typically consist of the following, federal income tax and state income tax. Payroll taxes that employers usually pay consist of the following, federal unemployment tax and state unemployment tax. Now, both employer and employee pay taxes toward the following two things, Social Security and Medicare. As you can see, the difference is that employees pay income tax at the state and federal level and employers pay unemployment tax at the state and federal level. Here's a quick breakdown of who pays what and how much. All right, let's discuss each type of tax starting with Social Security and Medicare. Based on the Federal Insurance Contributions Act, you and your employee have to pay 7.65% tax, also known as FICA. This is a mandatory tax expense for the employee and employer that is used to fund Social Security and Medicare in the US. It is based on the gross wages earned by the employee. More specifically, 6.2% goes towards Social Security and 1.45% goes towards Medicare, combined for a total of 7.65% in FICA taxes. All right, let's talk about federal unemployment tax. Not to be confused with FICA, FUTA taxes are paid only by the employer to help the federal government assist states with their unemployment program if needed. FUTA is a 6% tax based on the first $7,000 of wages you pay each and every employee. All right, how about the state unemployment tax? Also known as SUTA. SUTA taxes represent state unemployment taxes. SUTA is only paid by the employer on behalf of each employee. SUTA is an unemployment insurance. Funds collected are used for individuals who are laid off from their jobs. State withholding taxes, if imposed, are based on W-4 information for the employee, but there is also an employer portion too. Now that we know who pays what, let's discuss how to pay your payroll taxes. Fun, right? Once you have withheld the proper amount of federal FICA and Medicare taxes, you will need to calculate your portion of FICA, Medicare, and SUTA taxes. Then pay these amounts to the appropriate agencies, either monthly or semi-weekly, depending on the size of your company. For federal taxes, Payments must be made electronically through the Electronic Federal Tax Payment System, or EFTPS. This method is free, so don't get worried. For state taxes, the method of paying varies from state to state, so check for your particular state's preferred method. All right, for payroll, you report your payroll taxes on Form 941 quarterly. For FUTA taxes, you report these amounts on Form 940 annually. Now you might be asking yourself, what about independent contractors or the self-employed? Well, independent contractors are not considered employees. Employers do not pay any payroll taxes on independent contractors they hire. Be sure that the person or people you claim to be an independent contractor are actually classified as an independent contractor. What is that you ask? Well, according to the IRS, an individual is an independent contractor if the payer has the right to control or direct only the result of the work and not what will be done and how it will be done. Independent contractors or those who are self-employed pay self-employment tax on their net earnings from self-employment. That tax is essentially the employee and employer share of FICA. All right, but what about the payroll tax deferral under the CARES Act? Well, if you didn't know, on August 8, 2020, 
The president issued an executive order stating that the employee's portion of social security tax could be deferred effective September 1st, 2020, all the way through December 31st, 2020, for US workers earning less than 4,000 on a pre-tax bi-weekly basis or $104,000 annually. Now this was enacted to help Americans see a near-term bump in their paychecks. But those social security taxes will need to be repaid between January 1st, 2021 and April 30th, 2021, if no extension is granted in the future. As a bonus, let's talk about compensation. A ton of businesses get caught off guard when predicting payroll taxes because they forget to include all forms of compensation. Karan, I pay my employee a $50,000 salary. What could I possibly be missing? Well, total compensation isn't just salary. Employee compensation includes the following things. Wages, salaries, commissions, bonuses, and overtime pay. All things considered gross pay and consequently items you have to pay taxes on. Well, that's it. A high level overview of what you need to know about payroll taxes. As a recap, we learned that employees pay taxes to our federal income tax and state income tax. We learned that employers pay taxes to our federal unemployment tax and state unemployment tax. And both employer and employee pay taxes to our social security and Medicare. Then we learned that federal tax payments must be made electronically through the EFTPS system, which is free. For state taxes, the method of paying varies from state to state, so you will need to check with your particular state's preferred method. Next, we learned that employers do not have to pay payroll taxes on independent contractors. But independent contractors and the self-employed are not out of paying taxes because they have to pay self-employment taxes. Furthermore, we discussed the 2020 payroll tax deferral under the CARES Act for US workers earning less than $4,000 on a pre-tax bi-weekly basis or about $104,000 annually. Taxes that they would have to pay back eventually. And lastly, we learned that total compensation include wages, salary, commission, bonuses, and overtime pay. Hey, if you found this video helpful even a little bit, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe today if you want to see more videos that can help you save on taxes. I'm Karan from Life Accounting. Until next time.